So why are we talking about carbon nanofibers? Pollution has been, and still is, a major and unresolved concern in today's world. It is mainly caused by greenhouse gas emissions created by human activities. They are composed of water vapor, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane and ozone. Since the Industrial Revolution, human activities have increased the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by 40%. In an attempt to reduce the level of carbon dioxide in the air, scientists came up with a method which both fulfilled this aim, but also produced carbon nanofibers. This is what we will be exploring in this video. Did you know that carbon nanofibers are structures whose surface is around 0.1 to 100 nanometers? If you find it hard to imagine, this is 0 0.0000000001 meters, 1000 times thinner than a hair. They have cylindrical arrangement formed by stacked graphene cones. This is a carbon dioxide molecule. As we can see from its Lewis structure, it has one carbon, and two oxygens on either side. This makes it have an angle of 180 degrees, which corresponds to a linear structure. This is lithium carbonate. It is formed through the ionic bond between the carbonate ion and the two surrounding lithium ions. As you can see, the carbonate is a central molecule, which is composed of a carbon and three surrounding oxygens that are connected through three covalent bonds two single covalent bonds and one double covalent bond. The two surrounding lithium ions are positively charged particles and are attracted to the negatively charged carbonate ion. This is an electrolysis process where the current is supplied by solar energy. Electricity is applied to the system where the electrodes are immersed in molten lithium carbonate. The carbonate at the anode releases pure oxygen. Lithium carbonate is split into carbon and lithium oxide at the cathode. The lithium oxide that was formed at the cathode combines with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This produces more lithium carbonate and the reaction starts all over again. Carbon nanofibers are really useful, as they are strong, durable, flexible and conductive. Carbon nanofibers are already used for electric components, such as batteries and capacitors. They can be used to construct aircraft and car components, making them lighter and stronger. They can replace steel and aluminium, whose production emits large amounts of CO2. They can be used in medicine to trap viruses or create artificial organs. They can also be used for infrastructures such as buildings and bridges. Now that we have looked at the uses of carbon nanofibers, let's look at one of the reactants, carbon dioxide. The experiment itself uses carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Since the process would also use solar energy to power the electrolysis, the entire process is environmentally friendly and sustainable. Did you know that even if we keep emissions of CO2 at the same level by using this technology on an area of less than 10% of the Sahara Desert, we can remove enough carbon dioxide to make global atmospheric levels return to pre-industrial levels within 10 years? Mm -hmm. 